Hi, Susan Heller with Remax Action, coming to you from sunny Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for visiting our video blog and the topic of the day, multiple offers. So this one's for the buyers. They wanna know how do I compete? How do I win in a multiple offer situation? Sellers love multiple offers. They're getting higher prices, better terms, and they're thrilled. If you're a buyer, you wanna know how to have your offer stand out. And of course, the obvious is going to be the price. If you can make an offer to the seller with a higher price than the other buyers, it will be the first offer they consider. But there are other things to keep in mind. First of all is qualifying. If you're a cash buyer, provide proof of funds, a bank statement showing as much or more money funds needed to close the transaction. If you're getting financing, make sure you have a written mortgage pre-approval from a reputable lending institution that shows that you qualify for the amount needed to buy the home. The next step would be terms. And there are several terms that a seller will look at. They'll look at inspections. Is, this, is the buyer asking for a lot of inspections? Are there a lot of contingencies? Or is it a very clean transaction? What's the closing date? Some sellers want a quick closing date, especially if the home is vacant, but if the seller is living in the home and they need to buy another property, they may want some time to do that. So always get as much information about the seller as possible. If you are fortunate enough to meet the seller, then you may have an advantage. If the seller likes you, they may choose your offer over another buyer. A lot of sellers will say, wow, we really like that couple, we like that buyer, we like that family, whatever the case may be. If you haven't met the seller, then I would definitely recommend getting as much information about the seller, talk to the listing agent, and write a letter. Just a letter of thank you for the opportunity to view your home. We love it, we love the community. Our sister lives across the street, or our cousin is the golf pro. We have friends around the corner, your neighbors, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Whatever the case may be, let them know why you love the house and how thrilled you'd be to live in the community and why. If you can connect with the seller, it may be their first choice. And then at the end of the day, submit the best offer you possibly can and pray. Always use a professional realtor to help you to make the best offer possible. Don't have any regrets. You may not have a second choice. So make the offer your highest and best price and terms and may the best buyer win. Always call Susan if you have any questions. If we can help you in any way, we'd love to help you to get the home of your dreams. 239-248-8000 and make it a great day.